Hello friends, let us discuss the example 11 on filter topic. See here one circuit is given and you have to determine what type of filter is this one. Here input voltage is given and this is one series RLC circuit where we are taking the output voltage across the capacitor and inductor. Okay, I will show you means we are taking the output voltage across these two point okay uh, so across the whole capacitor and inductor what is the total output voltage or voltage drop that we are calculating and so that we have to determine that what type of filter is this one so first step is conversion of this circuit in frequency domain so after conversion we get this the resistance r will be r only and the capacitor will be uh, converted into 1 by j omega c and the inductor will be converted into j omega l and here v i of t was there that will be converted into v i of j omega and here v output of t was there which is converted into v output of j omega where v output of j omega across these two points see carefully across these two points here positive polarity here negative polarity and here v output of j omega is there okay so here across we are taking across the inductor and capacitor we are taking output voltage so now we have to calculate what type of filter to calculate that the step one is we have to calculate the transfer function transfer function is v output of j omega by v input of j omega and that is simply j omega uh, we can apply voltage divider rule and we can get the transfer function that is equal to j omega l plus 1 by j omega c by r plus 1 by j omega c plus j omega l and we get C V output by V input equal to J omega L plus 1 by J omega C by R plus J omega L plus 1 by J omega C. By simplifying we will get V output by V input is equal to 1 plus J square omega square LC by J omega RC plus J square omega square LC plus 1. Okay. This is nothing but H of omega. Okay. So we got the expression of H of omega. Now to calculate what type of filter we have to substitute omega equal to 0 and omega equal to infinite. See we got the expression of h of omega is equal to 1 plus j square omega square lc by j omega rc plus j square omega square lc plus 1 now h of 0 by substituting omega equal to 0 we get h of 0 equal to 1 okay h of 0 we get 1 plus 0 by 0 plus 0 plus 1 that is equal to 1 and to calculate h of infinite see if you substitute omega equal to infinite in upper and lower side you will get infinite by infinite term and that is uh, so that we cannot calculate via that so we have to calculate by l has hospital okay so uh, by l hospital rule we can calculate and uh, so we get the h of infinite equal to let me omega tends to infinite 1 plus j square omega square lc by j omega rc plus j square omega square lc plus 1 by taking differentiation we get equal to limit omega tends to infinite j square 2 omega lc by omega rc plus j square 2 omega lc okay and now see uh, we uh, again this is coming infinite by infinite so we will again take one time differentiation and we get equal to limit omega tends to infinite j square 2lc by j square 2lc j square 2lc j square 2lc cancels each other and we get 1 so limit omega tends to infinite 1 that is nothing but 1 so what we are getting h of 0 equal to 1 and h of infinite also equal to 1 so as h of 0 equal to 1 and h of infinite equal to 1 and you know from my theory class of uh, previous videos that it is the condition for bandstop filter so obviously this circuit obviously this circuit is nothing but one band stop filter okay so you have to analyze this circuit in such a way practice this type of questions more and more this will help you in solving problems very easily in your examination thank you for watching